on earth. <laughs> okay, so I just finished up getting the vlog, the last vlog y'all saw up. And I think this camera battery is gonna die soon, so I'm gonna plug this in. Make sure I got a battery. Where the heck are my extra batteries? Oh gosh. Oh goodness. I'll find them. Um, but I have like kind of condensed all this stuff. I'm y'all. We are. We're running out of room. And I saw a girl this past week who, she like made a, um, I'm being quiet because Ezra's been asleep for like two hours. So he may sleep another hour, I don't know. Um, this girl made a blog post like about all her tips for moving and stuff like that. One of the things she said was she was like, oh, the week before you move or like a couple days before you move, just Amazon Prime every bit of what you need. I was like, sis, how? Like, you could pay a mortgage's worth in organization products alone. Like, it is insane to me how expensive things can get. And we have, like, there's things we also need. So, like, we are almost out of our glasses, like our drinking glasses. And so I needed to order more because I wanted a full set. And we're going to be hosting at this new house. So, like, I need a set of drinking glasses because we've just broken ours over the years. Like... They came from our wedding registry, so we needed those. Um, we needed new dinner plates because we both like agree ours aren't our favorite, but we want to keep them for hosting. We have two really old, dingy bar stools in this house that have like not. I cannot find this other battery. That have not. They're not good quality, and they weren't good quality when they were purchased, but especially now. So, um, it's it's you know. There's like things we need. And this girl was like, order it all right before you move. And I was like, ma'am, what? So I've been ordering stuff since February and here we are. So this is something that a lot of you guys like told me to do was to label things by sticker, like color. So um, this one has the baby's name underneath it, but like every, he's he has his own, like he's the brown sticker. For things that are going to go in his room, Ezra will be blue, kitchen is pink, and then the primary bedroom and bathroom are green. So if a box, like I'll have that like, you know, posted on the door or whatever. And then if a box has pink, people would know kitchen, but I also just wrote kitchen on here just in case. But I like had to double tape it because masking tape is not going to keep this whole thing shut. Like this is still kind of all peeling. So like primary, primary, you know, kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. I don't know if it's maybe excessive, but... I feel like you can't be too organized when you're moving. And then, the Oh, I got these labels in. I think I showed those to y'all. I gotta find a place to put those. And while I'm actively organizing every bit of this, our new bar stool showed up. And I really kinda want to put them together here. But at the same time, I don't want to. So these are the bar stools that we have now it's just two of them that's all that really like would fit comfortable like when two people are sitting on these this this whole thing is taken up so we're getting four or we have four now I guess for the new house um and these just like I can't tell you how like, easy it is to just like literally rock these things so I'm like maybe we could go ahead and put the bar stools together I don't know I'm thinking out loud because <laughs> I officially have two less than two months with this pregnancy still no closed day yet <laughs> um but we, it's gonna it's we're gonna i'm gonna be okay <laughs> just kind of losing it this is really random but like how cute is this thing so it goes around your cup i mean i'm sure it goes around a lot of water bottles um but I see it on Stanley's and this is like perfect for people who run errands and don't like, like you always take your water, but you don't want to take anything else. Or if you go to the gym, because whenever I was at the gym, like I always just had handfuls of stuff. Like obviously my phone, I kept that in my hand for music, but like it holds a key lip balm, which, um, headphones, which this lip balm is literally the best ever i'll link it below for y'all i'm not even kidding i'm obsessed with their products and then like if you wanted a like a little you know your debit card cash or whatever but like how cute is that it's one of those things like you probably don't need 
but like you need, you know what I mean? Just make your life easier. So anyway, once I get that all like actually organized, I can zip it up, no problem. Um, But I just wanted to share because it's really cute. Also, look, did decide to put two of them together. I absolutely love them. They are like, they're firm but comfy. Um, they're definitely, you can tell, like these are gonna, these are gonna be ones that last. I'm filling up the Brita now, and then I'm gonna go get in bed. Where we live, Lowe's. <laughs> what are you doing, Chunk Monster? Look at this thing, y'all. Oh my gosh, I got stuff all over my shirt, but this is when I look down what I see. He's been hanging out on the right side lately. That's a booty. Chunky, are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you so sleepy, baby. Okay, that was really cute. Oh my goodness. You're so precious. Okay, now you don't want it? Just when you, okay. All right. It was cute while it lasted. <laughs> These things do not stay on good. Zero out of ten recommend. Kid. Just lost a shoe in Lowe's. Found it. It was right there. Do you want me to look it up on the app, baby? Okay. So, it is Monday the... 19th. I'm so out of breath. I'm actually, it's like starting to get a little bit embarrassing. So today a lot has happened. At this point, I don't even know if we're moving <laughs> until August. Um, we have had two hospitalizations. Well, one hot, one guy got admitted to the hospital um, and then the other guy had to go get stitches. So these installers like can't work. And one of the installers, the one that's like, we need him to finish the job in order to get our CO. He's the one who got stitches. And like, I have been in a toxic work environment before. Obviously this is a different situation, but like I've literally had bosses who would call me when I was like so sick and I just didn't have the gall to be like, F you, like do not call me. I am on a sick day. Um, and they would act like the world was ending because you know, I was sick or uh, it's just was ridiculous. And I had one boss. I, that's not the point. Point is I am not a person who is going to penalize these people, act like a jerk or be inconvenienced by someone's injury. Like honest to God, this guy had to get stitches. He got cut by metal. I did not want details because ugh. um, he's the porch guy. The guy who is like installing our cabinet doors that were like, a mistake got poison ivy in his bloodstream that is so bad like that can be really really bad he ended up getting admitted to the hospital for like a few days so i'm doing nothing but sending prayers and love to them and hope that like they feel better soon but i mean it's just another delay and at this point i've kind of reached the like the place where like i've been so stressed out about it for so long that i'm just not even gonna <laughs> what is that gonna do that's where we are, you know. You gotta go through the, the motions. You gotta go through the process. I saw a TikTok the other day of a guy who he was like, let me tell you something. I know everyone says you gotta pray about it. He was like, I'm gonna have a panic attack first and then I'll pray about it. And that was me. Like my, I swear my guardian angel and God are sitting up there being like, are you done yet? You done? You ready to start praying? Cause this is ridiculous. And like, I've reached the point now where I'm just like, all right, I'm ready to pray about it. I'm done with my panic attack. Cause that ain't gonna solve nothing. And I know it never solves anything, but I'm human. So <laughs> it's what it is. Um, tonight we have our 3D, 4D ultrasound for the baby. Everyone right now, by the time you're seeing this, will have already known, but cross your fingers and toes that that little baby behaved. I want to see what he looks like so bad because while Ezra does not look like what he looked like when he was born, we did a 29 week 3D, 4D with Ezra. He looked exactly like that when he was born. So um at least what we see tonight if we see it that's what he'll look like when he's born he may not look like that when he's 14 months old but 
the first little baby that I put my eyes on. Like, I just, I can't wait to see him. And then I told y'all we have a um, growth scan next week. Some people, when I mentioned that, I also said something about 3D40. They were like, why didn't you cancel your 3D40? Like, they'll show you at your growth scan. If I get one ultrasound tech, I know that she'll do a 3D40 for us. If we get the other ultrasound tech, I know that she will probably not even bother with it. So, um, unless it's required. And even then last time she was required to get certain pictures at our first ultrasound and she was just like, can't find them. So it's fine. <sighs> so out of breath, so that's what we're doing tonight. And I wanted to document this moment, okay? It is June 19th. Look what we're drinking. Look at this. So ask your doctor for the love. But my doctor, I had actually looked it up and then I went in and asked when I was pregnant with Ezra and they were like, yes, that is actually correct. So this takes time to build up in your system to actually work. This is not a, so it can be, but it is not like something that's going to send you into labor. It actually is meant to strengthen and tone your uterus, but it can cause contractions. So that's kind of what the doctor told me is they were like, yes, it takes time to build up. Um, people use it and they drink a lot of it towards the end of their pregnancy because it can cause contractions. And they were like, but everything you looked up was correct. It is a, like it's supposed to strengthen and tone. And I don't know if that's why I had such an easy recovery with Ezra, like postpartum wise, as far as like bleeding and all of that stuff, like everything was just super easy for me. But I did this starting at 32 weeks when I was pregnant with him. So I'm doing it again because it just takes time. So what I'll do is today's Monday. I'll probably drink another cup like on Wednesday or Thursday. And then when I reach 33 weeks, I'll probably do the same thing. 34 weeks, I'll probably try to drink like, you know, three cups within a one week time frame, about a day, day and a half apart. And then as we get going, I'll ramp it up. I think by the time I was 38 weeks, I remember when I was 38 weeks pregnant, I think I was drinking like three cups a day. Um, I did a morning, noon and night thing. So yeah, that's just what we're doing. I'll link that below, but ask your doctor first for the love. And they did tell me like, if you have contractions at all, stop it entirely. Um, you know, drink water, lay down, do the whole nine. So that's what I plan on doing. It's not terrible. It's just not like there's things you could add to it that would probably make it better. You could probably add sugar. I'll add a little bit of honey. It is what it is at this point. It's just something that will help get everything situated. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, <sighs> all right. And then I have to, let's see, it's 3.45. Got to call Sam in about 15 minutes. And then I got to clean up this mess, but I'm trying to get all this stuff uploaded for my video editor first. So we are home. I fully planned on getting more clips than that, but when we got there, so he wasn't, he was like had literally when we like started, he started the ultrasound like this. Or no, it was like this. Yeah, he's doing this. And so um, she was like, all right, I'm gonna need you to get in a funky position, like turn on your side, um, you know, put this leg straight, do this, do that. And she kind of did the thing where you like, you know, take a little wand and kind of rattle their face. And then, I wasn't prepared for it. And as soon as she did that, his whole face popped up on the screen. And so I didn't have my phone out. So it took me a second after I like saw his face that I then started to get my phone out and my mom was calling him by his name. And so she ended up writing it on the screen. So I was like, I love it, but like, I can't show these clips now. Um, so it was really good. I'm trying to kind of clean up my mess here. Um, and let me see if I can find one. Let me see if I can, you know what, I'll do this. I will put a picture up on the screen right here of Ezra, okay? Ezra at 29 weeks. And then 
I will put a picture up right here of this baby today. Tell me that is literally not the exact same baby. I'm giving birth to twins 16 months apart. I am not kidding. They look so similar. So it was so sweet to see his little face and see what he looks like. He looked like nothing that I thought he was gonna look like, but at the same time, exactly what I remember, like think he would look like because I've already given birth to a child that looks like that. But I know siblings that look nothing alike. One looks like mom, one looks like dad. So I guess we just make babies that are a really good mixture of the two of us. So I'm gonna call it here. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I have a lot to do tomorrow. I'm gonna go chill right now and do some Instagram scrolling, watch some TV, catch up on Modern Family. Um, just now on like season four, or season five, I think. So, yep, that's boring and what I'm doing tonight. So, thank y'all for watching the vlog and we'll see you next time.